What if I told you that 95% of all corporate projects using generative AI are failing? Right now, we're in the middle of an unprecedented AI gold rush. Companies are pouring billions into this technology, promising it will change everything. But behind the hype, a dangerous pattern is emerging. One that has played out twice before in history, ending in a total collapse. Are we living in a bubble that's about to burst? The history of artificial intelligence isn't a straight line of progress. It's a roller coaster of boom and bust cycles known as AI summers and AI winters. An AI winter is a period where excitement vanishes and funding completely dries up, sending research into a deep freeze for years. Today, we're in the biggest AI summer ever, but with a staggering 95% of business projects failing to deliver a positive return on investment, the question is no longer if a correction is coming, but what it will look like. To understand our future, we first need to look at the past. The first AI winter began in the mid-1970s. This was a crisis of feasibility. Early pioneers were incredibly optimistic. Nobel laureate Herbert Simon predicted that by the 1970s, machines would be able to do any work a human could. They promised fluent language translation and common sense reasoning. But they hit a wall called the combinatorial explosion. Think of it like this. It's easy to calculate the moves for a game of tic-tac-toe. But for a real-world problem, the number of possibilities grows exponentially, becoming too vast for even the most powerful computers of the day. They had promised to build a spaceship to Mars when they had barely invented the wheel. The grand promises fell flat, the funding disappeared, and the first AI winter began. Then, in the 1980s, things thawed out. The new hype was around expert systems. This led to the second AI winter, a crisis of commercial viability. An expert system was like a hyper-detailed digital rulebook. It could capture a doctor's knowledge to diagnose diseases or a geologist's to find oil. Companies invested millions, but these systems were incredibly brittle. They worked perfectly within their narrow set of rules, but the second you gave them a problem they hadn't seen before, they failed completely. They were expensive, hard to maintain, and ultimately not that useful. The bubble burst, and by the late 80s, the term AI became so toxic that researchers started calling their work machine learning just to get funding. Which brings us to today. This AI summer is on a different scale entirely. In the first half of 2025 alone, startups raised over $200 billion, with nearly half of it going to AI. A single company, OpenAI, took in a $40 billion investment. The hype is off the charts, but the reality in the trenches is messy. That 95% failure rate comes from a 2025 MIT study. So why is it so hard? First, the cost. Running these massive models is incredibly expensive. Second, they're unreliable. They hallucinate, confidently making up facts, which is a disaster for any mission-critical task. And third, integration. Trying to plug a powerful new LLM into a company's decades-old messy data systems is a technical nightmare. But the problem might be even deeper than that. Jan LeCun, Meta's chief AI scientist and one of the godfathers of modern AI, argues that the entire approach is a dead end. His argument is simple. LLMs learn only from text, but the vast majority of human knowledge isn't from books. It's learned by interacting with the physical world. He says you can't become a master chef just by reading every cookbook, you have to actually cook. LeCun believes that trying to achieve true intelligence by only scaling up text-based models is, quote, never going to happen. He argues they lack true reasoning, planning, and a basic understanding of reality. So here's where we stand. The first AI winter was a crisis of feasibility. The tech just couldn't do what was promised. The second was a crisis of viability. It couldn't deliver reliable business value. And today, we face a potential third crisis, one of economic sustainability. The current AI boom is caught between two powerful forces. On one hand, a tidal wave of investment and hype fueled by incredible demos. On the other, the harsh reality of a 95% failure rate in the real world, massive costs, and fundamental critiques from the field's top minds. A major market correction seems inevitable. This may not be a total freeze like before, but a specific LLM winter that separates the hype from the truly useful applications. The big question is, what comes next? Will this time be different? Or is history about to repeat itself? I want to know what you think. Are you using these AI tools in your work or daily life? Are they actually delivering on the promises? Let me know your experience in the comments below.
If you found this breakdown helpful, give it a like, and be sure to subscribe for more deep dives into the technology that's shaping our future. Thanks for watching.